Hi, my name is Kenny McCabe and I'm a research associate at Iowa State. And here we're out at the ISU compost facility. Um, we're at uh, four weeks of degradation in uh, compost piles that are the typical size that a homeowner would use. We turned the piles at two weeks and at that time we uh, also applied 12 gallons of water. Uh, after about two days after turning, the piles came back up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit and now they've uh, kind of averaged out around 100. So we're, uh, we're four weeks now, we're doing another turning phase and I'll just go through and talk about what some of the materials look like. All right, so one of the first ones to highlight here is the terra shell. Uh, it's definitely further along than it was at two weeks. Uh, again, microbial growth over the whole surface. There's actually pieces just falling out of the bag. So uh, it's pretty much gone. Um, if this was just in a pile and you actually turned it, you probably wouldn't even be able to see these pieces other than the color. This is a container that was purchased at uh, Dollar Tree. It was actually labeled as biodegradable, but uh, from what we can tell, it's really not doing anything in the pile. It's still really rigid. Hasn't really broke down at all. Uh, the coloring is probably just from the compost. I don't think that's actual growth on the surface, uh, but overall it just hasn't done anything. This is soy, PLA, uh, both mixed at 50%. 50 um, again, just pieces falling out of the bag, uh, real granular type. Uh, they actually almost almost turned to mush now. Uh, growth over all the pieces, and it just it breaks quite easily. This is soy PLA, 33% uh, soy, 67% PLA. Definitely further. pieces actually don't quite turn to mush but actually turn to granular chunks you can see it there this is soy PLA compounded with uh, DDGs so it's 60% PLA 30% soy and 10% DDGs and it's pretty identical to the 67 33 uh, PLA soy maybe a little further along and again pieces are just falling right out of the bag uh, turn to mush just like the other two. This is PLA lignin. Um, this is kind of surprising. It's warped a little bit so you can tell the heat's worked on it some. There is some microbial growth on the surface there but overall it's a lot more intact than we uh, we were thinking it was going to be. Uh, the, the piece does just snap so it is brittle but it hasn't broken down into the granular pieces like the soy PLA mixtures. Uh, this is a mixture of PLA with 20% bioresin. Again, looks very similar to the soy at uh, 33%. Uh, the pieces just really just fall right apart. And again, just turn into granular chunks. So not much left there. This is PLA mixed with bioresin at 30%, so uh, a little bit further along than the 20%, but pretty much the same though. Uh, again, just falls into chunks. You can see how it just turns into granular little pieces. This is uh, PLA mixed with 10% corn stover. Uh, you can still see the piece. Uh, it's a little bit more intact than some of the other types, but again, you can just tell it wants to break down into small granular chunks like the other ones. Um, see it falling through the bag there. Alright, so this one here uh, is PHA mixed with soy. Uh, it's not quite as far along as the PLA soy mixtures, which is kind of surprising. Uh, but you can tell it, it does still want to break down into granular pieces that's fallen through the bag. The bottom part is a little bit more intact, but uh, overall it, the material tears quite easily. This is a mixture of PHA and DDGs. Uh, not quite as far along as the PH or PLA soy mixtures. Uh, the piece is actually still kind of flexible, doesn't want to tear. 
uh, but there are parts of it that have broke down a little bit further that are actually falling through the bag as well so it's kind of interesting uh, this one's kind of interesting too this is PHA mixed with starch uh, the, the piece is still quite intact little little parts of the corners are degraded a little bit further but the bottom piece here is still still quite intact there is growth over the surface but overall the container piece is not as far along as we thought it would would be uh, another one of the surprising and disappointing materials is the paper fiber um, again it's not not as far along as we thought it would be the heat doesn't seem to affect the material as much as uh, some of the bioplastic or biopolymer types you can still see uh, the whole piece is really intact. It is tearing a little bit, but overall uh, still holds together quite well. And then here are the two coated types. This is one polyurethane coat and then two, and those are almost just like new. There's a little bit of degradation going on there, but overall not as far along as we were hoping. This is a mixture of PLA with 20% DDGs. So it's very similar to the PLA soy types. Um, pieces are falling out just like, like some of the other ones. Granular chunks again. And then just to wrap things up, this is 100% PLA, which is really quite interesting. Uh, the, the material is very brittle. I mean, it just breaks into pieces. Uh, it doesn't go to the granular form like some of the other types, but if this was turned in a pile, it would definitely break it down a lot quicker. Um, it's very, very brittle. Almost like sandy chunks. Uh, and then this is the recycled PLA that's been um, injection molded into a container, a uh, commercially available container mold. Um, I'd say it's maybe a little bit further along than the 100% PLA. Uh, again, breaks down quite easily into small pieces, falls through the bag. So if you compare the PLA mixtures with the 100% uh, PLA types, they're definitely further along, but this is still quite remarkable at uh, four weeks of degradation.